Hi guys, this is Victor from webautomation.io and in this video, I'm going to show you how to scrape the world's biggest and most popular supermarkets, Walmart, based in the US, to scrape products and prices using Web Automation's predefined extractor. So the very first thing is to head back to Web Automation. If you don't have an account, uh, please sign up. If you already have an account, uh, let's head over into the dashboard. Okay, the next step is you need to go into the marketplace and then you need to search uh, for the Walmart scraper in the marketplace, which has hundreds of ready-made web scrapers. So I can see the Walmart product web scraper is what we want. And to start using it, we need to activate there we go, we're ready. Now, all we need now in our next step is to put in the starter links. To get the starter links, we need to go back into Walmart. We could either do a search or use a category. I'm just gonna do a search to get some laptops. And I can see uh, laptops pre-selected on the search. So I'm just gonna copy this link, head back into Web Automation, and there we go. So I'm just gonna reduce the number of rows to extract just because of the demo. I'll update my settings over here and then update my links. And then I'm good to go. So I can press the big run now button. This is the final step. And voila, my extractor starts running and I should get my data uh, in a few seconds. So we can see it's completed now. Um, so what we have to do next is download the data to have a look. And you have different file formats, CSV, XML, XLS, Excel, JSON or JSON line. I'm going to use Excel because I have that open already. Let's save that. And let's have a look and see what the data looks like. There you go. So you got the name of the products. Over here, you've got the description of the products, you've got your image URLs, you've got the old price, discount, and then the, the real price after the discount, the currency, your stock option, um, number of reviews, ratings, uh, even got the Walmart ID and then the URL. So that's amazing. We're able to scrape that in just a few seconds with just a few clicks using Web Automation's predefined Walmart scraper. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I really can't wait to see how you get on.